Hello, everybody. Just uh, doing the final touches, and we will have a match in just a moment. Hello, A2. Hello, Light Sworn. Welcome. Riku, thank you so much for the follow. Are we going to load in proper here? Okay, then. I'm going to guess that was a connection issue. Uh, we need to find out if we take those. Yes, if, uh... If you guys don't know, there is a version update. So if you have not updated already and you are playing in today's event, be sure to update. Uh, that did... That did not give a win to either player, so I'm guessing that did not actually count. be the same settings how does it sound different what appears to be the issue um i can try turning it up a little bit I was also talking a little quietly. Okay. 
Okay, we appear to be on the dino version of uh, probably TG. Yep, looks like it. So, cannot do anything to our dinos. However, that is not a dino. That is a, but a sea serpent. So, we can, in fact, interrupt. back row and uh, we are basil rosine to allow us to get that additional precious resources oh uh, yeah we'll we'll talk a little bit guys just give me a few m more minutes here to get everything set up on the back end out a book of moon oh double mst this is gonna solve both of our problems here Hello, everybody. We are committing a good chunk of our resources, but we should be able to lethal here now. Can we put another body on board and or pop? Ah, there we go. That should be lethal. Good game. Typically, TG doesn't play hand traps, uh, so it wasn't really much of an issue there, but confirmed lethal nonetheless. And yes, actually, uh, ironically enough, I uh, was talking to a couple of my friends last night just about the frustration of, <laughs> you know, I applied for partner back in end of May. And, I mean, it it's not something that I, like, really needed or even maybe even wanted. But it was like a fun little project, uh, having picked up doing the, the tournaments because it's something that I'm so passionate about. Uh, the fact that it even became a possibility was kind of amazing, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> then like almost three months goes by, uh, two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half and just heard nothing. And like, you know, I, I was out of curiosity cause it says like, you know, Hey, it should, you should have a response in seven days. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. And then just th the time kept going by and it wasn't, I was getting nothing, no responses. And it's like, so I do my research, like, hey, is this like normal? Like, and you, you'd read all sorts of different things. Like, hey, you're going to get denied on your first attempt. And it's like, okay, well, if that's going to happen, cool. At least I can still try. Um, but it was just like dead radio silence. And it was like, you don't know how to approach that. Because like, also there's like all this like, uh, information that was basically hey if you even like ask about it it's gonna reset your place in the queue so don't even like 
contact us to ask anything or we will basically punish you. And I was like, wait, that sounds kind of extreme. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm just going to continue doing whatever I'm going to be doing. Uh, like usual, because like I said, it wasn't actually, like, it didn't really matter. It was just a project to work towards, I guess. Like, having that goal of like, hey, can we get more people showing up to the, to the what you know, hang out and watch the tournaments, etc. That's really all that mattered to me. Uh, or was using it as a vehicle towards that. And uh, then I don't know, like I just I had been in a bit of a mood. So like last night I was uh, just talking with some of my friends and mentioning about it. And I don't know, venting a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so anyways, went to bed, woke up and uh, there was the the actual actual invite. So yeah, cool. We got that check mark, yo. Now we just have to figure out another another goal to work towards. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, only a couple version update issues. Thankfully, everyone seems to have got that figured out. So that's good. Whoa, hey there, kitty. We have a kitty, kitty on the keyboard, and uh, we went for a head scratch, but I don't think she liked that. Oh nope, now she does. We have set ourselves up for. Uh. Now get partnered on you, dude. I have like literally 25 subs on YouTube like all I'm using YouTube for is a place to put the the tournament VODs like I don't know if I have the skill set or patience to act or not patience mostly skill set to actually do anything else I don't know maybe maybe that might be a fun little project but regardless it, it literally is just there if, if anybody ever wants to go back and see the tournaments again because i do i am a big believer in um the idea of preservation um this originally comes from my love of like older video games which are increasingly more difficult to play just because of you know uh hardware no longer existing disc rot all those sort of things. So I have a deep appreciation for all the like groups and organizations that focus on stuff like uh, preservation of older, even like even the the most bare bones, basic, boring, bad video games or any media. To be fair, but you know because as somebody who prides themselves on or is a relatively prolific gamer, that's obviously a focus, but. This extends to everything. This extends to old television, old music. Like, I really do hate the idea. Uh, oh my god, are we gonna... So we're gonna Econ Take, which will reduce its level by one, so we'll still have a seven possible. This is amazing. You're gonna have to do something about this, otherwise we can just, like, nuke the board here. Hilarious. But yeah, so from, from, from the, uh standpoint of preservation um i really want to do my part in areas where i can and so you know i know there's gonna be like maybe one or two people out there that would ever care about like man i really want to know what happened what was the narrative of that tournament like two years ago and i love the idea that it's like it's kind of why I like i love stuff like the websites where they keep track of the tournaments etc are we econ taking again okay what are we doing bro oh we're forcing it out again okay so we're gonna basil rose back the 
<laughs> so once again, we have the ability to force the OTK or the uh, Red Rose or the Black Rose Dragon. But uh, nope, we had two interruptions. Good, good attempts, though. Very good attempts. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Metallic Overdrive. Hello, my friends. Yeah, it took me five months to get partnered. I applied originally October, but in December had gotten to a car accident and caught cope. Oh, that's a nice combination. So I had to stop streaming for a month and then rebuilt myself back to where I am today. Um, wow, Sean. Well, one, uh, how can you say anything other than glad you're okay, dude? Like, that is a bad combination. Because let's see, 2000 would have be would have been like how soon after did you catch COVID? Because early 2000, that's gonna be like right near the beginning of the of the pandemic, if I'm not mistaken. October. Wait, no, 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 no. Would it have been? No, that would have been a couple months into it. One week after. Oh, so you've been injured and are yeah at least slightly immunocompromised due to that and. Uh, Oh, Jesus. That is a bad combination. Alright, do we have any plays we can do here? If we can get another, we can we can theoretically go into a, if we run it, we can go into our uh, scrap dragon. Oh my god. Two accidents got sideswiped. And spun around have three her oh my god dude so yeah I have I literally went most of my life suffering basically no injuries like nothing not one broken bone like the worst I ever had was like a like a sprain or something you know basically stuff that literally doesn't matter and then I unfortunately ended up uh, suffering a pretty substantial knee injury last July not this one but the one before and to this day it is still healing um it's uh it's kind of wild we are going to force out the or well, not force out we were going to battle phase so we're going to go ahead and squire saga okay sure 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 <laughs> um not quite an arrow, so I think I've told this story before. It's kind of wild. Um, so, I think I've mentioned it before, but I work um, a pretty mundane job like in my actual day-to-day -day life. Uh, I work retail. Um, I'm like management and re or mm, upper mid-level management for, for my location. Not like the head, not like I'm in control, but I'm like shift lead type stuff, right? Well, anyways, I'm just getting off work, and uh, or the shift is ending, and um, somebody ended up causing a pretty substantial mess. Now, as somebody who's like, you know, I'm I don't hesitate to get my like hands dirty, and because it was going to be exceedingly difficult for it to get taken care of, I offered to assist in in uh, cleaning it up, which is only important in so far as it kept me at work longer than. Um, the, I, if I had just left, like, everything that followed wouldn't have happened, okay? So, like, nothing about the actual mess mattered. Um, but while this was happening, as I'm assisting in, in the cleanup, we, uh, so the area I live in has a pretty substantial problem with both, um, transients and, like, just crazy people in general. And this guy came in, and he was just like, I cannot describe it other than just kind of unhinged. 
And for whatever reason, I don't know why he did it, but he, uh, like, decided to assault one of my coworkers, one of the people, one of my, like, people under me, uh, on my, on my shift. And he had a, um, like a scooter, like one of those little, like, fold-up metal scooters. And just was like using it like a club swinging it at my coworker and I intervened um to because you know I didn't want my coworker like getting attacked by this person and so um the TLDR from this point is just literally uh uh in the process of sub subduing this dude who just would not stop he was just I don't know if it was drugs or whatever, but it was wild. Uh, I ended up slipping um, and came like right down on my knee. And I was quite convinced that it had broken just because of... Uh, am I ready for Sovereign Guard? Right? Yeah. And... Uh, so yeah, uh, anyways, go to the doctor, uh, they do x-rays, they do everything, they make, they're like, okay, it's not broken, you just have like a, um, what is the medical term? It's like, it's like deep tissue bruising, uh, with like, no, uh, uh, bers uh, bursitis or whatever, like where basically there's like the, the fluid sacs that surround your kneecap. Uh, not fractured. It's it's called like bursitis. It's like the fluid sacs that that your knee like floats in basically. Um, one of them had burst, which meant that like the fluids leak out into the rest of the soft tissue around there. And that is a victory for Mesred. And so in theory, that kind of thing isn't that big of a deal. It's just like. Yo, you're gonna be, like, healing for a while. Okay, cool, cool. And that healing for a while has now gone on for, like, a year. I have full control over it. <laughs> I have full control, like, I have full, like, range of motion and everything. It just gets, like, super stiff in a way that's really unpleasant sometimes. Um, it does better if I use, like, a knee brace, but... It's it's just a little frustrating because it's like, that didn't need to happen on so many different levels. One, the dude just didn't need to be crazy and like swing in a damn uh, scooter like a, a club. And uh, had I just left, I mean, in hindsight, okay, if I had just left, then my coworker probably gets injured. So um, it's just... <sighs> I don't know. But regardless, that do be life. Um, it's not that big of a deal, Eli. Like, um, the term... I believe it's like this. Didn't have a hand cannon. Oh, but we do have the MST. We were about to have a repeat of game number two, but not this time, friend. Seven cards on turn two, by the way. Skill plus uh, Rocks Rose, of course, but... Ah, I understand, Eli. Well, it took everything it we had, but we do appear to have stopped Rose Dragon from playing. Only one back row. We have a chance.
Uh, yeah, Shaggy. It, it was especially unfortunate because I do... I am a rather... Em well, okay. I do consider myself fairly empathetic. So, like, for example, I, like, donate both time and money and stuff to help out uh, when and where I can. So, on the one hand, you don't want... You just want to be... You want to acknowledge, like, look, man, like... This person probably wasn't in their right mind for one reason or the other, etc., etc. But then there's also that human nature of you that just wants to be, like, really upset. Like, why would... Uh, unfortunately, that that's going to be it here. Our boy's going to get to use all their resources. It was a good, it was a good attempt, TG, but not this time, my friend. Real unfortunate. I'm actually kind of a big fan of this deck I would love I don't know what else they could do to give it support I'm sure there's some other is there some unreleased TG support they could get I mean other than synchros obviously that they can go into ba -ba -bum. Uh, I guess Hyper Librarian. Uh, do we Metal Skel Metal Skeleton? Ah, oh, Metal Skeleton could be kind of cool. Is that newer support? When did you come out? 2019. Okay, so that's newer support. We could obviously get Recipro Dragonfly. That would be nice. And that will be a victory for Mugiwara, the destroyer of hopes and dreams. A good duel regardless. Good attempt, my friend. Well, that seems a little ominous, Shaggy. Obviously, obviously only say whatever you want and be mindful of revealing too much that you would want. But uh, in the abstract, um, you know, just just take the time to uh, think about it and uh, come to terms with it. And I don't know, without knowing the details, just don't you don't have to let that kind of stuff uh, like define who and what you are at the end of the day we are who we allow ourselves to be boop, 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 boop. do we have another interesting match um please tell me you're not still in game one Can't enter the room. I'm on a different... I am pretty sure that I'm not on a different version. You both need to update. Whoa, Wind! Hello, my friend. Thank you so much for the continued support. I appreciate you. Howdy, partner. Ah, ba -ba -bum. See if we can find ourselves another interesting matchup to watch. In a sea of roses, be the rogue that we need. We are going to be watching Jax versus Chris Oliver. Uh, no, Eli. Functionally, they're they're, they are typically pronounced the same. Sean. Ow. 
at least in the region of that I live in. That's how we would pronounce both of them. Sean. This is actually game number three. That's, uh, we have hello, Mayu Senju. Mayu Senju versus the untargetable Yang Zing. That's sad. Uh, well, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Isna re remaining on. Ah, because Isna was special summon, right? Not normal. Interesting. Seen Matrai. Have you seen Matrai? Is it Matrai? I always pronounced it Matrai. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel real embarrassed if I've been getting it wrong. So it is Matrai. Whoa, you're wrong. You're literally Sean's friend and you're getting it wrong. What the hell? Fake friend, fake friend. We are gonna... Are we gonna Black Rose of the Field? Or are we gonna go for the... Okay. Good save, good save. Going into Black Rose Dragon, are we going to nuke the board or are we going to use the skill to go to... Oh, not even going to use the skill. Did we not have a plant in the graveyard? It appears that we do not. Do we have a low scale? We do have the channeling, which can certainly get us a low scale. Well, low enough that we can use. Oh, but we got a heat haw. <laughs> pen one, pen two, pen three. Can we break this board? Absolutely butcher it. Let's go. Interesting that we're running the Misok. I mean... You do get to just straight up destroy a card. Is there a reason Mayu Senju weren't already running this card? This is this is actually really good. Yeah, no, this I mean because you can search it off of... Can you search it off of channeling? Yeah, you can just straight search it, too. Huh. Seems unusual that people would have not just been running it. Well, regardless, we are going to Basil Rose protect ourselves. Yeah, I mean, you get the Papa card... And if it battles non-wind, which is like 95% of what your battle will be, you can just destroy whatever it battles. Yeah, that, that card is so good for the deck. Well, regardless. I forgot to do the timer and the brackets. We might want to do that. Give me just one second.
Okay. So we took care of that. Uh, what else did we need to do? We needed to do the bracket. Let me get that done. Uh, Meteor Burst stops it for in the battle phase, but you're correct. You can just use it pre-battle phase. Wait, we still were not... Oh, wow. Now this destruction effect we can be we can force it out. Oh no, we weren't even destroying it. Right. Okay, never mind. Compulse once again, this will stop us from being able to destroy. Lethal has been averted. A whirl. It's okay. I appreciated it. Oh my god, and we just were dead. We had nothing. We were so close. We were on the edge of greatness. And unfortunately, it won't matter as Rose Dragon will show that it don't matter what you want to do. Because I'm still tier one. Well played, Jax. Well played, Chris. That is an easy fix. Arc resolved. Just a couple matches. One, in fact, one match left in the round. Ah, this appears to be a hero mirror match. Lovely. So, we do, in fact, see that the Sora skill is as mind-boggling as we thought it was going to be. Can literally anyone tell me in what world? Uh, top 16, yes. Four rounds, top 16. Can anyone tell me in what world? Return a polymerization and an edge imp monster to your deck to add a fright fur patchwork to your hand from outside of the game which searches a polymerization and an edge in monster so you don't gain in card advantage and all it technically lets you do as far as I'm aware is change which edge imp you're playing unless there's some interaction with patchwork itself that I'm missing Am I missing anything? Or is that skill as bad as I thought it was? Like, okay, if... If we're getting in the, like, support for Fright Furs in the next mini box, that would justify that, I guess? 
but as it stands, it makes absolutely no sense to me. Oh, do we just have lethal here? No, because we can't deal damage with Neos Knight. There's still a chance! Like, yeah, but I don't think there's anything in Fluffles that you can or would play that would do that, so I just, I don't know. Like, literally, the skill could have just been re return an edge jump monster. I mean, th isn't that just, like, the other skill? I don't know. Despia and Dark Lord. Despia in Duel Links next selection. There you go. Bacon Saver. And there's still a chance. Oh, no. Oh, no. That would have been actually pretty funny. We could have theoretically... Konami hates the Fluffles. He had the Lancia. Unfortunate. It does, un unironically, it does seem a little difficult to to balance fluffles because like you, they're either going to be like this oppressive okay if they actually have a turn one i think it could be a problem like a pretty significant problem three-way code thank you so much for the follow my friend i'm not saying i want the deck to be bad please understand Uh, sorry, one second, guys. Okay. Just checking a mod call, guys. Sorry about that. We are in round number two. But yeah, what was I what was I saying? Um yeah, it feels like what like because it's such an all-in and like you, we've absolutely seen how fluffles can just destroy boards going second, right? Their their downside is you don't got to turn 1 and in exchange you get to you know, absolutely blow your opponent out turn 2 in a lot of situations. Obviously, that doesn't always happen. But you have to be kind of careful about it because if if you're not careful, it's how you end up in the situation of a deck being oppressive. So it's a tricky balancing act. Um, I'm not sure what you would do. Like the only thing I could think of is like <sighs> you'd have to like think about the interaction of either Wolf or. Um, which is usually the kill card, or um, Tiger, which is, you know, the destruction card. Like, if you give them a turn one, you'd have to, like, limit their going second power a little bit somehow. And I don't know how you do that. Some kind of limit, maybe, but...
Well, that's going to probably be the last match of the tournament. Or of the uh, round, I should say. See if we can find another match. Hello, Elmaz. Welcome. Any? I don't know if I have the breakdown. I'd have to go check. I will let you know as soon as I do. <sighs> so. Oh, I, I completely understand, Elmaz. I'm never going to... Um, that's actually a policy that tends to be pretty universal most of the... Um, at least amongst the, the bigger um, tournament um, organizers. Just because they don't want people doing stuff that is going to um, delay the events. And I'm never going to, you know, me, like me personally as just like a, from what, you know, one person to another, I completely understand, like, you know, join the events you want to join. You know, the other ones will almost always be there in the end themselves anyways. And sure, hey, look at that. We were just talking about it and there's our boy Goomba and Fluffles. I will be honest, I was actually a little surprised we ended up... I thought we were going to have signif significantly less players than we ended up with because of the... Con um, not quite concurrently, but almost concurrently running... Um, how many Ritual Beasts? I, don't, I didn't see any today, Whirl. Um... So I believe we have 43 today. Um, we've been doing pretty good at having um, usually around 60, 55 to 60 lately, which feel actually feels very nice. Like, obviously, I would always want more and more and more, but... Um, once, once you get up to, like... 50 plus it actually feels okay it feels like you have just enough variety just enough competition for it to be a good time i do still want to work on Running an event of my own in the future that will be free to join to everybody, though. I would love nothing more than to just uh, get a bunch of people together, get as many, get as many as we can, and just ha make a make a good time of it. So Fluffles were in fact able to go second. We, however, had our toy vendor popped with the MST, denying us the additional draws we were able to search for the cat cat will give us our polymerization back well i i do not see a world where you don't get it 
I mean, you, you're, you're referencing when. You're absolutely going to get it. It's just going to be a, a matter of time, obviously. You, uh, you've you been doing extremely well on your numbers. I would collab with anyone and everyone. It's all the love of the game. Although... <laughs> Yes, Almaz, I actually just got it last night. Or this morning, rather. So we do break the board, but as we're all aware, it is extremely easy for Red Rose to come back from this. So we will see. Three cards in hand. Can we recover? Ah, well, there you go. Instant recovery in a single card. D what, uh, so early on, when the... Um, when it looked like everything might be quote-unquote falling apart, you know, right there in the beginning of... Um, at Master Duel launch, and we thought... It was really looking like it was going to be, like, just completely destroy the uh, the uh, the scene for uh, Duel Links, which, you know, thankfully it did not. But one of the things that I was trying to organize was one last Metafreakly that would have been... Um, well, I don't... <sighs> That's a weird way to look at it, Whirl. I don't want any game to be mid. I may have a preference for what I enjoy, but by God, in no world do I want any game to be mid. But regardless, I really wanted to get as many of the mod team as I could together to do like one last like really big freakly at the time uh keep in mind if anyone is just showing up this is re referencing when we thought that maybe there wasn't going to be any more real tournaments um i really wanted to just get everyone on board and just have a good time just cr be cracking jokes be uh be uh Re going down a memory lane, etc., etc. And even though I don't feel that's necessarily needed now, I st I've always had it in me that I still would love to do that. And maybe, not, and like, uh, <laughs> oh no. Wait, do we have wings in there? Do we have wings? We do not have wings. I still would love to just get a bunch of people together and have a have a big old tournament with a bunch people being goofy and uh, reliving old memories, etc. I think it would be a lot of fun, not because of like a like doom and gloom type stuff, but just like a celebration of joy type thing. I don't know. I want to hear Jade whispering about malevolent sin in my ear one more time. Uh, you can never be sure about that kind of stuff, Shaggy, but... Basically, you one should never say never. And this, again, no doom and gloom. This isn't what this is about. But... It just, you know, it for me, it's just literally, <sighs> why are we effing?
Why are we effing? My stream looks fine. Uh, okay, if you're in the chat and you had some kind of stream hiccup, could you mention it? You guys are really scaring me, though. My bitrate looks constant. Huh. Okay, well, we'll see how widespread that is going forward, I guess. Please keep me updated. Um, we obviously had those issues early on in my streams where uh, occasionally it would go down, but ever since I implemented the... You get a loading screen. Loading screen. Are you talking about, like, my little space starting screen? That's weird, if so. Okay. Thank you for the feed. No, I mean, if it's more than one person, I, it's something for me to be aware of so that I can try and uh, fix it. Thank you for the feedback, guys. I am a dent. Next ban list, I want to see some cards come off. All right, tell me, what cards? Name your top, I don't know, top three cards that you would remove from the ban list right now. Gut check reaction. Don't, don't, don't like go, don't go look at it. Gut check. What three cards are you passionate about? Elder and Canahawk to three. Kytus, True Nade, and Grass. Well, Eli sure wants to just absolutely uh, destroy the meta. Star Seraph. Okay, I mean, I can respect Star Bro! <laughs> What are you doing? You can't just go in with the dog. Um, so Kakaitis back at one would probably not be bad, but it would be annoying because keep in mind the the, the thing that people don't like about Kakaitis is that it's a gatekeeper for a bunch of decks. Assuming that it can be meta, obviously. Like, just imagine as a Rose Dragon player. I mean, okay, this is a bad... This is a bad example because obviously people don't like Rose Dragon right now. But imagine if Rose Dragon, like, had to go into Ruddy Rose just to beat over Kakaitis. And even then, you'd just Alistair Boost to keep the Kakaitis alive. And you're just like... I can't get rid of this thing. I only want more red eyes support. I don't care. Well, we know how Elmaz truly feels. Can we do anything with nine? We cannot do anything with nine. Oh, we're going E Contake Cheese play direct attack. We need we need do we okay, first of all, do we have Oh no? <laughs> Bruh. 
double Stygian Dirge, but it does not matter because Econ Take do be a hell of a drug. And Juninho wins game number two for a 2-0 victory. <laughs> Dragoon. Okay, hear me out. Atlantean Dragoons. And by the way, hello, God of War. I did not mention that earlier. Welcome. So good of you to join us, my friend. I appreciate it. Oh, my God. So, guys, I was really concerned because we had a matchup of uh, Satellar Knights versus um, Phantom Knights. And I was like, well, that match is going to take forever. Nope. 2-0 victory after 16 minutes. I hate to do this, but we're not going to see them later. Let's run back that Fluffle game one more time. Come on, guys. Be reasonable here. Actually, would DP... Okay, hear me out. Yes, it is obviously a good card and probably too good for Duel Links. But isn't the problem with DPE more the fact of how easy it is to get to? Like, if there's no... If there's no Verte and there's no Fusion Destiny... Is it really so bad if we had DPE then? Breakthrough skill, you will not search polymerization. Is there a world where you could balance DPE for Duel Links in any way, shape, or form? We, My man's playing King of the Swamp out here. You tie a skill to it, probably. And it would have to be like... It would have to be like as bad as the... Um, It would have to be, like, as bad as the, the U-Bell Sacred Beast one, where, like, turn two, like, your, t your second turn and onwards, add a copy of DPE to your extra deck, and then, like, the first time it goes to your graveyard, it's banished instead. Oh, we almost be bra board breaking. Wait, why did that not kill it? Oh, because it can't be destroyed. Oh, no. Not Kanadia. Oh, my man. My man's. Right for Sabretooth cannot be destroyed. It literally just needs to go to defense mode. scorns but puts FD puts a fusion destiny on top of your deck and adds DP to extra deck from turn 5 onwards oh no hello icy gamers welcome my friend
Wait, did we have some leaks? I thought we didn't have leaks yet. Up, up, up. Uh, did I miss? Did I miss leaks? Oh my God, we do have leaks. Okay, but that is literally nothing, bro. Don't get me excited. Oh, I was so excited. Hope no Verte and Duel Links. Okay, okay, okay. So hear me out. Verte is not a problem if the fusions you can access don't matter. Am I wrong? Verte into, like, El or Hero or a Neos fusion? Like... If that's the worst you have to worry about, is that really a problem? Really? In that case, Dragoon can be a skill. Okay, wait, we do have Super Poly, so you are correct. Okay, maybe it's a bit... Okay, maybe Verte a bit more of a problem than I was leading on to. Add Rainbow Neos. Oh no. Two Brave Neos and two Back Row. That do be pretty good. Breakthrough skill. Dog will not be searching. Would Rainbow Neos actually be a problem? Rain Rainbow Neos is good if I'm not that's like the one that can shuffle the the um field into the deck, right? I no, that that would that would absolutely be a, a damn problem. Okay, but it has to be an ultimate crystal monster. Um, so you can't use Neo's fusion for it. Okay, world, lay it on me. What is? Wait, how can you how can you Neo's fusion for it? If it requires an ultimate, an ultimate crystal beast monster, there's no level four or lower ultimate crystal monster, is there? Am I just, am I just missing something? Rainbow Dark Dragon. That's level four. That is not level four. So how, again, how are you Neos fusioning for it? Oh my God, I'm, I'm, okay, right. I'm attributing level four. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> okay, I take back everything I said. Uh, we will never get that. Oh my god, and Fluffles won. Apparently there is still a chance for Fluffles. Congratulations, Gym Leader Brawl. You are- everyone is pinning their hopes and dreams on you, my friend. I mean, okay, Whirl, as a degenerate, like, control player, or somebody who enjoys degenerate control, um, give me everything Subterror. Let's do- let's go. Make Subterror meta again, please. 
coat for Rainbow Neo skill. Hello, Lo-Fi. Welcome, my friend. So good of you to join us. Okay, hear me out, Whirl. Give us Guru and Fiendess, but no city. I don't care if it's too good. Let's do it. Fiendus in a limit one bundle. Um, today, Icy, I believe after drops, it's 43. We were up against, um... DLE's um, battle phase, so that's naturally going to drop the number of players. Why did I not save that? Oh my god. Why is that so huge? Hello? I am a fan of all of the community tournaments. I don't want this to be a a competition, personally. Um, Deathroy, I believe it is because um, Rai wants to make up for being kind of um, incommunicado for the last couple weeks. They had an extremely successful stream yesterday, so why not run it back? Uh, Dent, we don't know yet. The leaks appear to be just, like, the con- the- It's like placeholder data in the code. So we know that these are coming, but we need to wait for more data. Could you check the mod channel? Yes, absolutely. Um, so the first one, I can fix that. The second one, Eli, uh, just don't worry about it for right now. We can, we can deal with that later. But I, I, I can fix the second. We can absolutely do that. That is the easiest fix. Okay, it is now four rounds. Corrected. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Uh, Lo-Fi, I'm going to blow your mind with these leaks. Click on that link and just be like... These links are huge! Yeah, um, I'll go over it with you later, Eli. There's, there's like one or two things you need to change, but aside from that, changing the number of rounds is like the easiest thing you can do in the game. Ooh, Lancia pretty early. Why not wait? Okay. Hear me out, guys. Okay. 
Now that we know that we're getting a, a bundle, let's assume it's a limit one bundle. Not just what you would like to see as a bundle. I want you guys to guess what we're going to get in a limit one bundle. The information you have to work torrential, interesting. The the information you have to work with is going to be um we're getting paradox. Um the upcoming box is a mini box. We don't know what it's going to be, but foolish burial torrential guaranteed. Okay. Lo-fi, you are guaranteeing it. What kind what kind of bet are we making here right now? Yes, malefic suck, but I guarantee you you could you you could absolutely create a skill to make malefics good. Fluffle scythe. That is a fantastic idea. One of scythe. Sure. Scythe Actually, Wandering might be onto something, by the way. Think about it. This new Fluffle skill is garbage. Unless you can search for your copy of Patchwork, which can search for your copy of Scythe. Just saying. Right, Geki. Oh, Icy just wants, like, give, mm, mm, give me all the power cards right now. Just come on. Bring them in. I want, I want to be turn two. I see your board. Oh, th that's a nice Yazi you got there. Don't matter. Right, Geki. Nuke it. Why not Lightning Storm? Lightning Storm limit one bundle. Let's go. Solves all your problems. Your opponent got back row? Nuke it. Your opponent got oppressive monster board? Nuke it. Gone. And Toby will win in the hero mirror matchup. Congratulations, well played. I believe that should be... Nope, we got one more. Go into Tiger, pop on. Tiger would be so rude. <laughs> would there be anything that could stop Fluffle Scythe from activating? Uh, on turn two, like if you went turn one and they're activating it? Mm, Photon Lord. Um... I don't believe so. This should be the final game of the final match of round number two. Um, the new skill for Sora, bum, 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 does it have a turn limit? Yeah, okay. So, if it, if, okay. Let's go under the assumption that it is Scythe. 
If you can't use the skill or reliably search it... Oh, wait. Aren't there some... Aren't there some cards other than Patchwork that can search it? Couldn't Vendor search it? Toy Vendor? Does Fluffle Dog search only Fluffle cards or can it search Edge Imp? I can't remember. You can add one Edge Imp Sabres or one Fluffle Monster. So cannot search Scythe. What about Toy Vendor? You can add one Edge Imp Sabres or one Fluffle Monster. Okay, so neither of these cards can search for Scythe, which means that the only concern then would be drawing into it. Yeah, basically, can you draw into it and that's it. Because otherwise you can't use it. You can't you can only search it with patchwork with the skill on turn 3. Well, and don't get me wrong, you can search a ton of if you if you draw the good the the perfect fluffle hand, you can search like or draw like half your deck if not more. But I don't know. An unsearchable one of that can give you a really powerful turn one. Like, is anyone really going to be mad about that? We do find the MST. Now the question becomes, do either of those other back rows stop us from playing the game? I absolutely see how it could be a problem, but at the same time, I also see how it could be kind of hilarious. Like, it's almost like, screw it. Let's, let's have a meta of... Fluffles randomly be, you know, potentially being good. We've had worse metas in the past. But that's just my thought on it. If it is not... <sighs> hmm... Could it be... Okay. I think everybody agrees that... Malefics... The cards that we haven't gotten from Malefics are a bit of a problem because of how easy they are to access. What if we had a Limit 1 bundle of Malefic Cyber End Dragon? Hear me out. Could we do that? Limit one Malefic Cyber End Dragon. Let me just drop a 4k beater on you all. You don't know. Think about it. Certainly one way for Malefics to be good on... Um, so the issue with Malefic Rainbow Dragon is you have to play uh, Rainbow Dragon in your deck. Malefic Cyber End Dragon, you are banishing an extra deck monster. 
any time that you can banish an extra deck monster instead of having to main deck a brick is a big improvement. <sighs> Going back to my own guess, none of the bundles have been archetype specific yet, so probably going to be a tech. Hmm. Limit one Twin Twister. I will not buy followers, thank you. I would prefer my followers be real people that will interact with me, but appreciate it. Twin Twister as a limit one bundle is probably the only way it could ever come to the game, I think. And even then, it could theoretically be problematic. What if we got skill drain as limit one? Oh no. Oh no, we lost Bronak. Oh, my Jesus. Banish the graveyards. 19 banished cards. Well then. I'd throw skill drain and clean. Oh no. No, we're there. Oh no, come on. Not like this, guys. What are, what are some other floodgate... Limit one pot of desires. No, probably probably too good. You probably see people coping about cards like... Uh, or decks like... Uh, Gren mod you again. Can we get torrential? <sighs> or regular mirror force. Oh no... I can see Torrential way before Mirror Force. Well, actually, could I? Torrential kills both players' monsters at least. Anti-spell fragrance. No MST in me. Storming Mirror Force. I don't know about that one. Eli, I don't want your logic, please. Probably not going to be this. But what about this card? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we disappearing. How about limit one lost wind? One of a Cle Apoclifort Towers. Uh, lost wind is the one that uh, target one face up special summon monster on the field, negate its effects. Also, its original attack is halved. If a monster is special summoned from your opponent's extra deck while this card is in your graveyard, you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. So basically it is an attack reduction and uh, uh, effect negate that can come back. It is a very good card. If it was in Duel Links, people would be playing three copies of it in every deck. Hello, McBob. Limit one trade in just so we can say F you, blue eyes. Limit one Dynamis. Okay. Whirl. Dynamiscus is a pretty good card. I'd be down. 
What do you mean? By the way, can we talk about why? Di because Dinomiscus is insane? Hello? Think about how long Karma Cut was meta, and you just want to, like, put the card that's better than, di than Karma Cut in the game. What do you mean it's not better? Dynamiscus is completely better. Okay, look. Okay, look. Uh, I mean, Karma technically has one benefit in the form of uh, banishing all the monsters in the graveyard as well. So it's like, not a complete power creep, but yeah, it, you would play Dynamiscus. I can see limit one Dynamiscus, sure. It's kind of, it's kind of perhaps too good for Duel Links right now. But as limit one, sure, why not? Everybody would probably want to play it, so then you'd have to think about we're not we are not getting anti-spell, bro. Ha like, Half the metagame revolves around spells, bro. <laughs> and just as everyone would prefer it, heroes always win in the end. Varro defeating Alia in a 2-1 victory. Well done, my friend. Let me just double check that score there. That is, in fact, a 2-1 for Varro. And that was the final game of round number two. So we proceed onwards, my friend, to round three. Summon limit. Unironically, Summon Limit wouldn't even be that big of a problem. King, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. I do appreciate that. You're very kind. An Easy Limit 1 Bundle Raigeki. Bro. The Limit 1 cards should be like... Yo, this card's pretty good. I kind of want to play it if it's appropriate for my deck. It should not be... And every deck will now run it. Raigeki would literally be like every deck. Can you, do you have a limit one slot available? You will run this card. Uh, Hans, I believe so. Let me do a quick double check. Sorry if I missed your question earlier, my friend. Uh, bum, 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 top cut. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, two to three X2s will make it. So, I'm saying there's a chance. Terraforming is a good choice. I would also like terraforming. Think about all the... Okay, the only issue with terraforming technically is oppressive field spells. But, like, do we have an oppressive field spell other than... Um, uh, Necro Valley or the the other one, the one that limits summons. That that could that would be the only issue I see. Limit one magical meltdown. Limit one six cents. You guys are just coming up with bad ideas now. I don't know how I f how to feel about that one. Hear me out. Limit one. Right of Aramisir. You can't escape the Isekai adventure. Not even any of the rest of the cards. Just the summoning of the token. That's it. We finally figured out how to balance it. It doesn't do anything. 
limit one axe raider. Could any deck... Okay, if they added Draco back, unironically, just Draco back, nothing else, just Draco back, are there any decks that could reliably abuse it? Because you have to generate a token, obviously. Is there any other easy token generation? Like, other than, like, I don't know, Phantom Sky Blaster or something. Oh, it's a normal monster. Okay. Right, 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 right. We literally have a 2-0 Fluffles. What's happening? What do I think about releasing in fire Inferno Fire Blast but quarter damage? It would be fine at quarter damage. And sorry guys, managing a mod call. Alright, I think we found our match. Just gotta wait for the players to begin. Bronak, Monarch support would be them giving us that advanced tribute skill from Legacy Duels. That skill was so good. I really enjoyed it. I think I think they legit could add that skill, make it even even make it once per duel, and it would make some tribute summoning or tribute decks actually viable. God, I would love for that skill to be real. They should add more copies of Destiny Draw. No, they should not. Why, why do you want to just add free random draw twos to the game, bro? Duel. Yeah, the difference is you get to put it in good decks. And you don't have to play a bad deck like Blue Eyes.
Ah, yes, my favorite hero player, my Valentine. Hello, Poids. Is there any fish today? No. Unfortunately not. Your breakdown for today is available, however, thanks to my boy Eli. Thank you so much, Eli. I really do appreciate you doing that for me. It means a lot. Let's go ahead and bring that up. One of my favorite decks of all time, unironically, was uh, Fish Control with... Uh, excuse me, sorry about that. Was Fish Control using um, the Flying Whitefish or whatever the hell it's called. I can't remember the name now. But you know the one I'm talking about. Golden Flying Fish, Golden Something Fish. The one that can just, like, tribute a fish to pop. Boom. Today's breakdown. All the Mechlord players decided, yo, I heckin' love heroes. And basically traded spots with them. 13 Rose Dragon, 12 Hero, 4 Mechlord, 3 Fluffle, 3 Phantom Knight, 2 Goki, 2 Teller Knight, Fire King, Mayo Senju, Metal Foes, and TG. Well, okay, Yusuf. That's a pretty good board. Can Needsen do anything about it? Well, that's one of the cards he needs. Excuse me. There are, in fact, two Teller Knights. Yes, I don't know how they're doing right now. Let me see if I can find that. I don't think our boys are doing very well, unfortunately. There is one that is 1-1. One, one. And another that is 1-1. One, one. Okay. So both of them are currently 1-1. One, one. So this is not ideal. We will attempt to pop. Uh, no, Elmaz. Actually not in this situation. So we're going to be able to stop the pop by sacrificing one overlay unit. Which will put us into Great Magnus. But the problem is going to be the fact that we'll only have the spin. We got no back row. Oh, we popped our own. Oh, actually, unironically, this might have been a bad idea. Letting him go into Great Magnus isn't even that big of a deal. Because, th here's the thing, Great Magnus can't protect itself twice. This can.
Oh, nope, never mind. There you go. Reduce it. <laughs> or tornado. Yeah. Didn't matter. That is a yep death. So mean. Mm -hmm. Waiting for both players to return to the table. People who enjoy control decks, there's nothing wrong with that. I would say I lean more towards control. Uh, there is one Fluffle that is 2-0, and I believe one Fluffle is 1-1. One, one. I'd have to double check. Also, hello, Dark Wolf. It's not stall, it's control. It's not stall, it's aggressively waiting. Okay, looks like we have game number two. How are we doing today? We are doing quite well. Thank you for asking. It is one of my days off. So I'm here with you guys in these tournament environments. Unfortunately, there is no cool aggro decks in Duel Links. What would you define, like, has there ever been an aggro deck, Elmaz, that you vibed with? Like Cyber Dragon or something? Boon of the Mech Lord Emperor, get drawn. Is DDD still viable? Uh, so Shredder, technically yes. I think it is widely regarded that DDD's problem isn't like its power level, it's the consistency hits that it took. So, can you win with them still? Absolutely. You will still sometimes open hands that are absolutely busted and will break just about any board. The problem is your odds of seeing those hands is much reduced because of the hits the deck took. So... Both Cyber Dragon and Dark Magician will absolutely be meta again at some point. There's just too many good cards for both decks for them not to be. Um, to make DDD work, Shredder, you have to run some different tech cards. So, for for example... Okay... Unironic okay, as long as Rose Dragon is in the meta, DDD will probably also suffer a little bit just because of the fact that Rose Dragon will do anything and everything to absolutely destroy, like just nuke your board. And if that happens, it's almost impossible for you to come back. Um, if Rose Dragon exits the meta or is not as prevalent as it currently is, then I think even with the consistency hits, DDD will rise up again a little bit. Um, 
but it's just the fact that you can lose your entire board that you've built up to a Black Rose that makes it such a threat. I still personally really like the deck, though. I think it's... Fire Hiking Genghis was a bit of a problematic card for the, the meta, but as a whole, I really did like DDD. I didn't, I didn't mind that they were meta. Do you see Cosmos and Duelings? Yeah, I don't see why you couldn't do Cosmos. You'd have to be a little careful about which Cosmos cards you give just because of, like... You're just going to end up with Cassidus, uh, Cassidus 2.0. Like, um, Dark Destroyer or whatever might be a bit too much. Not only do you get the pop, but on top of that, you're untargetable. You think an untargetable 3,000 attack monster that pops on summon is okay. Hmm. So it's literally a better Yazi, easier to bring out. Free invoked. Ah, uh, Dark Wolf, yes. It is the Star Wars meets Wizard of Oz combination archetype. I actually never got to play in, in uh, the Cosmos meta. I was out of the game at the time. Ah, uh, this should just be death, right? We can use the other... Miracle Fusion in hand. Pop. And I think we're dead here. Into another sunrise. Oh my god, the boy just keeps going. So, the big problem here is just a... F oh, I mean, he, he did have one back row. But, um... <clears throat> Yusef was just able to pop, pop off here. We survive here. Interesting. So if okay, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna coach. Nope. I mean you can, but it won't do what you think it's gonna do. Wait. Oh no, no 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 We needed to wait. We needed to not do it during the main phase. Okay, let's see if we do this correctly. Wait. 
which which sunrise activated. He needs to have activated exactly the sunrise that the synchro absorption targeted. He did. Okay. Feels bad, bro. Well tried, Needson. That's a 2-0 victory for Yusef. Uh, he really needed to see two back row there. Going first against heroes can be a little difficult if they pop off like that. have any interesting matchups to watch um you're a little different why don't we watch you uh two to three light sworn We have El Venom versus Merzad. Merzad is currently up a game. Looks like favorite duel versus whatever Merzad is on. That is a hell of a board. Activating fire formation, 10 key, one back row set. Normal summoning Fire King Avatar Arvata Fire Kings. Hello. Hitting a fiendish chain. Oh no. Venom is just popping off, dude. We got the veil, so we will stop the attempt at lethal. We'll not attack with. Hello? We'll not attack the, with the Neos as we don't want to trigger uh, Destiny Draw. We're going to go and activate our Circle of the Fire Kings to bring back our Arvata by sacrificing our Barong, which will now give us a search. And that will end our play. Barong get search in the standby phase. Ayo! Fire King's best deck! Let's go! Searching for a copy of Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Yo, that's a pretty good card. Wait, negating the draw too. Oh no. Garunik's gonna be coming back. We can protect one time with the Neos fusion. Bringing back the Garunik's. We can just beat over it. Garunix get searching. 
it, they just endlessly float. Out comes a burong. Hmm. We will leave Barong. Uh, Garunix should not return now, correct? Yeah. Ah, oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because we got ourselves a Fire King Island, which will get that monster off the field, making sure that our Onslaught of the Fire Kings is, in fact, now live. Be right back one moment. Yeah, Fire King is not exactly showing itself as a meta contender at the moment. However, you should never discount the ability for any deck such as Fire Kings that can abuse a skill like Destiny Draw from being able to just pop off. You know, Garunix's Field Wipe is not something you should ignore. However, in this situation, we did have the ability to um, protect ourselves with Neo's Fusion. Wh Hello? Uh, do we have another Neos fusion? Oh. oh no. Goodbye, field. This is a situation that really you can just you're just like, no, come on. Not like this. I was winning. Unmuting myself. Uh, I am 
I turned my fan on as it, as, as it is getting rather warm here. So if it is too annoying, if you can hear it, um, please let me know. Taking out the Garunix with our Flame Wingman, boosted by Skyscraper. Uh, Elmaz, I have not quite decided yet. I, it's prob if it's going to happen, it'll probably be Friday. Um, I have a lunch I need to go to tomorrow. So if I do it tomorrow, it would have to be after that. So it's possible. We'll see. But, um, I, yeah, I have a, a, a lunch I need to go to during prime streaming time for me. Hello, Coach Soldier Wolfmark, able to bring back a copy of a level four fire beast type, beast warrior type monster. This will open up rank four plays. There is a very good chance we will do something similar, Elmaz, if that's what people want and would enjoy. I also know that that's not always for everybody, and people can kind of just like, eh. But, yeah, we'll probably do something like that at some point. I also enjoyed myself. Hello, kitty. I shouldn't, Torso. I haven't changed any of the ad settings. It's all like YouTube's basic stuff. I would absolutely never have ads for... So I would get rid of all the ads if possible. So I am, I am sorry if you guys are getting hit with ads. If I can figure out, like, the optimal settings to make them as unob unobtrusive as possible, I will 100% do that. Oh my god, and we had nothing. Fire King with that grind game winning in a 2 0 victory. Hi, kitty. Hi. <laughs> Sorry guys, you understand. When Kitty calls, you must respond. All right, it appears that round number three has concluded. 
we will be entering the fourth and final round of Swiss. Quick reminder that all X1 are guaranteed to, to top. Two-ish, maybe three X2s can top. But it should be primarily X1s. Make sure the ping happened. Ping happened. The funny thing is, the attention that she wants is typically, I want to lay on your hand and the keyboard. And then I have to, like, constantly move her foot because she wants to. So the space where my keyboard is and where I am sitting, there's only so much room. And it is not enough room for her. So she either has to be partially off of the table. And we're talking, like, maybe in, like, you know, half of a thumb. Like a thumb. what Half a thumb length. Or she has to be on the keyboard. And because she obviously doesn't want to be off of the uh, desk, that means keyboard time. So it's, 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 it's like this constant war of like, can you just squish yourself together just a little bit more? Okay, matches are starting to populate. We will have a new one in just a moment. Oh my god. Hans, why were you asking if how many X2s are going to top if you're 3-0 right now? <laughs> Ah, okay, fair enough. Do I know Mood Trapper has a parrot? I did not know that. That's pretty neat. Birds are pretty cool. I mean, Light Sworn, that's like, <laughs> I think that's every cat. Oh, there's something on the table. There's something on the floor. I'm going to sit on it. All right, Hero versus Mech Lords. Ooh, reinforcement into Stratos, Stratos into Ferris, and off to the races we go. We know how this ends. This board will typically end with three monsters on board. Uh, okay. Three monsters on board and typically one to two back row. Two of those monsters will usually be copies of the uh, Sunrise to protect all your monsters from attack. Uh, Elmaz, did he just get the parrot?
Any back rows? Set one, set two, set three. Ah, oh, well, this is about the uh, the best hero end board as you're typically going to be able to end on. That's pretty good. It's going to be extremely difficult for Mechlord to break this, I think. Book of Moon will require a lance in hand to protect. No lance. We are going to need significant back row to survive. That is not it, unfortunately. I don't think there's anything we can do here, unfortunately. The most we could theoretically hope for is, like, we have to pop a fate. Didn't target one monster you control, destroy it. MST, take out one of those back row. Bum, 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 bum. Andrej, I don't like mech lords at all, but I also do not like Rose Dragon. Fair. Well, I think hating mech lords is kind of cringe. Because, like, what did mech lords do wrong? But I understand if you don't like Rose Dragon. What don't you like about mech lords, Andre? Maybe because I play Red Eyes OTK? What? Is it because they're stealing your monsters? Hello? Excuse me? Mask change? <laughs> what? We have lethal on board unless that back row does something. Oh my god. And Anova had nothing. So, the thing about the spell negation is most of the time, Mechlord players aren't going into Weisel. So that's like... You only really go into Weisel if you know it's going to be devastating against that matchup. So, like, you go into Weisel against Galaxy Eyes, for example. Because you know. I guess... I guess if I know I'm against Joey it, and I'm going first, it might be worthwhile just to stop the Red Eyes fusion. Sure. But... Hmm... Hello, Akuric. Welcome, welcome. All right, Mechlord's time to go first. Show us what you can do. Adding assembly. Assembly gonna get our plays started. Do we have Boone in hand? Show me Boone. No Boone. All 
All right, we got two back row. We got Weisel in hand. Electing to not put Weisel on the field as it would drain our hand of resources. Normal summon Vion, not what you want to see as a hero player. We can potentially mill something like a liquid to make sure a um, Miracle Fusion in hand is live. Sure enough, we will see the liquid sent to the graveyard. Up, oh, kitty's on the keyboard again. Come on, kitty. Miracle fusion into a bottomless trap hole. Goodbye. Oh my god, and mask change coming through once again. Hello. Now this will dodge any other uh, floodgate style card or trap hole style cards. We're going to be able to just blow a Nova out here again, I think. This is a really unusual tech from El Sune. You typically do not see this played. <laughs> we can go into another sunrise. Do we have another response? This is lethal on board if we don't. What do you got? Book of Moon in the battle phase. We're going to go ahead and limit the amount of damage we can take here. Now, we can... Can we lethal here? I don't think we can lethal over Sunrise. Hero monsters don't typically get big enough to allow that. There is the Triskillion. Set one. Okay, okay. What are we stealing? We're taking th the third sunrise. We can reduce to by 2,500 currently. What's it going to be, El Sune? We can actually crash at this point. Koga is, in fact, a beast of a machine. Get reducing down to twenty five or three thousand. Crashing exactly. If we have another Trisk, we can go into it. But we have nothing. Oh no. What a time to brick.
We find our reinforcements. Reinforcements will probably grab us a Stratos. Did not elect to... Okay, well, we don't care about popping back row, it seems. So we did not flip that monster up. Could be a face down increase. Well, this is your last chance, Anova. If you don't pull something here, it's going to be GG. I don't think you're running anything to stop uh, three attacks. Oh, hello, Army of Granol. That is not enough, unfortunately. We will stay alive at the very least. Act <laughs> increase returning. Oh, no. Hello, YCS Peru champ. Welcome, my friend. Oh, activating Miracle Fusion time into a... What could he have left in deck? Pro liquid okay it's got to be okay great tornado sure into another bottomless trap hole no mask change for you this time my friend um okay sure <laughs> what are we going to bring out <laughs> We believe in a miracle. <laughs> Imagine needing to cut Granel's attack in half. We likely don't do we have any way to another fusion? I don't think we do. I think we're just going to attack, attack, and that's not lethal. Well, maybe I'm wrong. He is searching for a, a fusion substitute. Show me that dreams are real. Beating over by 100. Vion taking another 1,000. It's all up to you, Anova. Literally any monster keeps you alive. Literally any monster. That no! Now, every single one of the attacks is lethal. There is absolutely no way you're running something to stop this. No way. There is no way. Oh. Welcome to the Metafreakly round four, where dreams go to die, my friends. And you witnessed the dream coming to an end. Two-zero victory for El Sune. Congratulations. We will find ourselves another match. Sean out here rooting for the uh, the big guy beating up the little guy. Typical. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Do we have any interesting matchups to watch? Uh, those are all ending. It's like literally all heroes versus rose dragons. We missed all the other interesting ones. Oh no. Oh, we got one more mech lord. We'll watch you. Um, I think there's a 3 a 3 OPK if I'm not mistaken. Nope, I lied. Uh, we'll find out in just a just a few. Hello, M. Decker. What's up? We are currently streaming a tournament. How's it going? Going pretty all right. If you love heroes and rose dragons, if you don't, then I we got we got a problem. By the way, any recommendations who to vote for? Oh my god. Um so part of the problem Come on, kitty. Hey, come on. Down. Down. Thank you. <laughs> she did not like that at all. Oh my god. Uh M Decker, this one is through duelingsmeta.com. Um, it is free to join if you're a member, a subbed member of the Discord. Otherwise, no. Although, do keep in mind, I likely will have free to enter tournaments sometime in the near future. Um, do I have any idea of who to vote for in the prediction? I'd have to go look again because, like, a lot of them are going to be like the the Japanese, like. It's probably going to be one of our Japanese competitors. But, um... Hmm... Yeah, I don't think I would be a, I would be a good person to... To, uh go with that because like i'm probably gonna vote for the people that i personally or kind of know like grucius do i think grucius is gonna win probably not he's a good player but i don't know if it's like winning the world's level um mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You voted Act, Uzumaki, and Panda. That seems like a reasonable selection. And thank you for the follow as well, M. Decker. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. I think Act is absolutely a, per a perfectly good pick. It's... I Honestly speaking, a lot of the time... I don't think you can, like, pick based on named. Like, half the time it seems like whoever wins is just, like, it's some... Okay, I don't mean this in a disparaging way. But, like, half the time the person who wins, I'm like, I've never heard of them. They're just, like, a player from Japan or something. And don't get me wrong, so many of the, of the top players in the game are from Japan. But they typically tend to play in their own tournaments. So we very rarely get to, like, know them. So, like, it's hard to judge, you know? You can only kind of judge based on people's performances you've seen. And this is just killer. Taking out the increase with an MST, we will have a follow-up if we have exactly Miracle Fusion in hand. And we don't. Hello, Wanted. Hello, a, oh, I've already said hello, A2. I was about to, oh, and uh, Brawl as well. Hello, my friend. Welcome and greetings.
Going into that Ruddy Rose Dragon, Ruddy Rose get banishing all those precious resources gone. Um, I don't know if they watched everyone. Um, so Andre, I believe. I don't know if they still have the video, the VOD up, but DLE Yu-Gi-Oh watched the entire um, first stage of the Worlds event, and you could always go back and watch that VOD if it's still up, and and vote based on the performance of the people that they spectated. That might give you a better idea. <laughs> Compulse sending that liquid back to the hand, meaning he no longer has the resources for the Miracle Fusion. Oh my god, Junin Yo is just absolutely bullying right now. Uh, you are correct, Andre. Y you could still... In theory, you could look at that to see how they're playing, I guess. Because it, it's not gonna... It's gonna come... I mean, yes, the decks are gonna change. But, like, you don't want to vote for someone for, who does, like, any very obvious misplays or whatnot. But, yeah. You might just, like, look at what some of the people in the chat have said. And vote, and vote, uh, or just pick at random. Who knows? J maybe you'll be the guy that picks the one at random. What do you mean, copium? Do you know who, who to vote for wanted? I don't think so. We finally get a sunrise on the board. We can get searching for Miracle Fusion, however. At, as we did not... Okay, so we're going to save the liquid for next turn because we already used the effect. Oh, nope. We don't care. Banish. Absolutely. Immediately banish that liquid. We don't care. Draw two. Never heard of it. This will ensure we can beat over the um, Ruddy Rose regardless, though. I mean, I guess this makes sense. We went we ensure that there's no lethal. Look, Hans is Hans is, you know, like a first time player. He doesn't really know how the game works. He He's probably just borrowing somebody's account that has all the cards. So, don't be too hard on him. Give him some time. Can't believe Ruddy doesn't negate and destroy. I mean, sure. But, Ruddy already does a fair bit. I mean... Ruddy banishes both graveyards, 
Ruddy nukes of the board, and Ruddy can negate. Like, I feel like it might have been asking a little bit too much for it to negate and destroy. Hidgy and Dirge. Oh no. It should negate, destroy, then banish, then gain a thousand attack. Sure. And we still have double back row. The fact that Basil Rose can bring back Ruddy Rose Dragon will never not blow my mind. I mean, I literally... Yeah, okay. In the context of Duel Links, because obviously, like, in the TCG, who cares? It's not that great. But just the fact, in Duel Links, yo, this spell, I can just revive my 3200 attack boss monster like it was nothing. Book of Moon says no. And it does not matter. You can have that Stygian Dirge on the field. We will defeat you anyways. And Juninho will win in a 2-1 victory. Well done. Cataster one time. Mayo send you OP. Well, Chris coming in the chat to talk about his 3-1, I believe. Mayo send you list. Absolutely dominating the Swiss rounds. This will be the final game of the final match of the... What do you mean? Excuse you. Apparently my cat saw something through the window and really wants at it. <laughs> we just wall up. Okay. Excuse me. Wow. Pray that we cannot let our... Or that we stop our... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, this would have been the biggest black rose in history. And we're going to take out two back row. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Miracle Fusion, one back row to worry about. Lancia will deny no special summon. Oh my God. They, we're just shutting him down completely. It doesn't matter. Stygian Dirge, Book of Moon. We will ensure that our... We will ensure that our um, sunrise survives. We're go gonna go ahead and book ourselves since we are losing it anyways. Um, but we don't really have any other plays, so what's it gonna be? Just go to battle, I guess.
literally one book of mo oh hello mst off the top taking down that dirge can we make some plays now What is that face down? That is a fantastic. I mean, well, draw sense winded into it, but that's fantastic. It's going to get the plays going again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just. I'm, I can't remember what it is. I don't remember what what is face down. And yep, yeah, that's going to be a GG. Jet Ski's going to go ahead and wrap it up, admit defeat. It's a we, it's a hero's world. We just live in it, my friends. What do you mean invalid scores reported? It should be top cut time. Just double checking to make sure everything looks to be in order. We click in the button. All right, give me just a few minutes, guys. We pushed the top cut. We will have top cut breakdown. We will have and movie. Anyone know if Start GG is having problems today? Not on my end. Mm-hmm. 
just taking a look here, there appears to be quite a number of heroes. Oh, okay, there's the Rose Dragons. More heroes, more Rose. Boys! My friends, I have a hell of a spicy match for you. Undefeated four and O oh. Fluffly Boys. Bum 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 Let's go ahead and get that changed top sixteen Alrighty, the first match of the top 16 will be Levison versus a Gym Leader Brawl. What can the Fluffly Boys do against Rose Dragon? Destroy everything, it turns out. And Yazi don't matter if you can just beat over it. Why we got people not checking in? Come on, guys! Oh, that is... Huh. Okay. This uh this top cut'll be fun to look at in just a little bit. One back row. We did take out the toy vendor. MST does in fact negate. That is, in fact, not the kind of ending you want to see to Fluffles. <clears throat> Any pure Yang Zings today? No, unfortunately not. 
I will admit, well, I don't think you're ever going to see pure Yang Zing, not when you have the Rose engine available to you. The best you're going to see is Rose Yang Zing. It's just too good of a matchup. Um, I did particularly like uh, Negative One's list, however. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. We will bring up the breakdown in just a few, though. It is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, the one, usually it's playing like one or two, one or two. Oh, and hello, we do in fact have a copy of Hallowed Life Barrier. Hallowed Life Barrier will make sure that we cannot die on this turn. And we're just, oh. <laughs> so the thing is though, this is kind of hilarious. We're going to be able to like nuke the board. Big problem though, we cannot nuke the Samurai Destroyer. Nor can we nu nuke the Yazzie. So we may be able to wipe out a significant chunk of this board, but uh, we probably are going to have trouble having lethal unless we have exactly a board of three Fright Furs, including a Wolf. Dual Link's Potato, yes. It's not... I don't think it's for any particular reason, but Gym Leader Brawl currently is undefeated... Um, four and O with, uh, with Fluffles <clears throat> just brought Fluffles to the game, to the tournament and has been popping off. Well, even if it floats, it doesn't really matter here. Well, actually, does it float in this situation? I don't think it's going to float into anything. Ah, the basil will. Wait, did we book ourselves? Okay. I was wondering why you were still face up. If we have Fright for Fusion... Oh my god, he has it. We have a four attack fright for a wolf. Oh, uh, wait a second. Is this enough to get over though? I don't think we can get over the samurai destroyer. Uh, this is a problem. Wait, it'll be... It would lose 300? Wait. Oh, it lost the extra attacks. That was the issue. Because the extra attacks is from its effect. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. 
it was it was literally the fact that by attacking into the samurai destroyer we now no longer had extra attacks from being the fusion summon oh my god So did we had to attack the samurai destroyer first, right? Cause would the would that would we permanently lose that the number of attacks, or is it just the one time? Zeta time! Taking out the wolf. Oh, we're cracking this board. But oh, wait, how was Sam D lethal? Or the attack stops because you lose the extra boot the attacks. Doesn't Sam D need to be destroyed first? Because you attack, you attack, and then you attack, your attack is negated because you don't have extra attacks. Uh, spider in attack? Monka W? Did, do we not know how Zeta works? <laughs> so you're telling me there's still a chance uh no because zeta's on the field i don't think there's any comeback for for brawl here unfortunately do do Can he run it back? Game number two. Um, you probably have to run Hallowed or something. You need to run something that's going to keep you alive. So it's either going to be Hallowed or it's going to be, um, Kiteroid. All right, looks like both players are back to the table. I think it's going to be a tech call. It's going to be what you feel better with. I think both of them are probably a perfectly fine choice. However, you probably don't want to go first, but you got to do what you got to do.
We have one back row setting the toy. Oh, that's the toy vendor set. Okay, okay. Discarding the... F we are discarding the... How we have to have another Hallowed, right? This is like... Devastating, though. Uh, I think it de it depends on your definition of an aggro deck. What it is more so than anything is your deck needs to have a turn one game plan. Like, nobody would deny that Cyber Dragon wasn't an aggro deck, but it was one that had to turn one game plan. Do you miss getting overflowed into an OTK? Triple back row. Interesting. Electing to not go into uh, Zeta, as it would just be destroyed. Well, Fluffles aren't really played pure in Master Duel. Not really. But technically, yes, they can, like, scythe lock people using Cruel Whale. Do we have a play here? Or is the play literally stall until next turn? Oh, no. We got wings. And apologies, guys. I'm enjoying a quick little snack. Well, okay. This suddenly, um, this suddenly turned things around. Activating the Basil Rose now. Guess it doesn't matter.
so if we have Fright for Fusion, isn't the play Liger back into Tiger into Fright for Fusion for Wolf, and that should be game? Of course, uh, Fright for Fusion is a one of, and there are five cards left in deck, so we may not have it. I didn't mean Liger, I meant Sabretooth, sorry. Show us the Fright for Fusion. Make this a complete blowout. I believe in you, Brawl. Two cards in hand and a dream. What do you mean, Death Roy? I just don't want to eat on camera. I'm literally just eating a couple little gummies, and I've got myself some corn nuts. I'm not eating that kind of snack. It's not like a like a sandwich which I can just like devour. We do be wiping the board. But um was there real I mean, we can't be OTK'd here, can we? Oh. Yes, we could have. So this was required. We're probably going into Zeta, so this is game over. Oh, nope, never mind. Why not Zeta? Um, we could go into the 3000 attack one, I guess. Ah, uh, Tiger, Tiger doesn't do it. Literally both of them will float. And unfortunately, after a 4-0 Swiss dream, Brawl just can't. Two times he came so close. I think he, there was a, I could be wrong, but I believe there was a misplay game one. Not a critical one, but enough that kept him from winning. Um, But yeah, 
it was a hell of a run. He had the crowd behind him, but just could not uh, cinch it in the end. And Rose Dragon will ruin the hopes and dreams of another young and rising star once again. Feels bad. Why don't we go ahead and show the breakdown? So if you recall, this was the overall breakdown for the tournament. <clears throat> we saw the ascendance of the hero player as heroes. Are making a resurgence in popularity. And then here is the top cut. Six hero, six rose dragon, one fluffle, one Mayu Senju, one mech lord, and one phantom knight. And yes, favorite duel seems to be the hero variant that is on the rise in popularity. It's really fascinating. One tournament to the next. Like, Rose Dragon is always going to be up there. But then it's like, some tournaments it's Mech Lords, some it's Heroes. I firmly believe we are in kind of a three-deck meta. It's not a two-deck meta. It's a three-deck meta. <laughs> Hero Nui. Oh, no. I mean, as a Shira Nui super fan... I'm totally behind the existence of Hiranui. However, I don't know if the rest of the people will be. Go ahead and push through some of these top 16 matchups. We are approaching multiple top 8s. We have... Ooh, let's go see how the boy Chris himself is doing with his Mayo Senju. Any hero? Uh, it's like the set. It's like the one of the most played decks. Uh, Ethan, yes, absolutely. Heroes are doing well. Heroes are doing exceptionally well. If you love heroes, this is like your time, my friend. Yo, set versus set. Let's go. Wounded hero. Okay, wounded hero. Interesting. We can bring out a strato. Not a stratos. Um, I was gonna say we could bring out. What? How much did we lose? We've lost twenty six hundred. So we could have brought out a um, a neos if we wanted to, but instead. Oh my god. Hello? Are we about to pop off? Do we have a fusion available to us? Wounded for liquid. Uh, solid to bring out the Stratos. Stratos get searching or popping. Which is it going to be?
And what happened to the other one of us? Well, the other top eight currently is Phantom Knights versus Mechlord. Um, Hero versus Hero. Two different versions, though. And then Rose Dragon versus Rose Dragon. And then looks whoever wins this one will play against Rose Dragon. Going into a sunrise. Sunrise gets searching. Draw two, discard one. And then adds the miracle. I mean, surely we can... It's really going to come down to whatever that card in his hand is, but we should be able to get lethal to this turn, I believe. Mm -hmm. Hello, Saifedean. Um, not really. I mean, we're watching Mayu Senju. Going into Roach. Hello? Do we have lethal, though? It all comes down to whatever's in that hand. Ah, uh, Nando is on Wounded Hero, yes. Doesn't even attempt the lethal. Is more than happy to play the long game. Oh, did he actually draw scales? No shot. We're gonna be able to take out two... This card's Pendulum Summon cannot be negated. Goodbye! Did Nando throw by not attempting lethal? Now we're now we are set on <laughs> Roach and Liquid Beatdown. Come on, man, you had it. Do we have an MST to negate? Yo, let's go. I mean, okay, 
as an impartial observer. I should, I don't even know why I'm rooting again. Like, I'm not rooting, okay? It's just kind of funny. You made a cl <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, and we cannot beat over the Shinchu L. <laughs> Bro! Walled up by the friggin' totem pole. What do you got, bro? You got anything? That's not it. Did we draw another MST? We did not. And that, my friends, is probably the beginning of the end. Cannot target these monsters as we are protected by the Shinchu L and we are bouncing. It's an. Diebox just one, right? No, it's two. <laughs> Goodbye. So, Mayo Senju Die Box specifically says this card's pendulum summon cannot be negated. <clears throat> so, Roach is functionally useless against this deck. Well, it's against that one specifically, but it doesn't shut it down in the way you need it to shut it down. And that will be a game three victory for Chris. We move on to uh, top eight. This means that your top eight is PK versus Mechlords. It is Hero v Hero, different builds. It is Rose v uh, Myosenju, and it is Hero or Rose versus Rose. As we have not watched any PK this tournament, I'm going to go ahead and watch them. They are currently up a game in top eight. I take that back. They literally just won. Okay. PK is in your top four. Very nice. We will watch the hero mirror match then as it is uh, different builds of heroes. And I do find that... Hey, hey, Death Roy, come on now. You're gonna make Eli angry. Now, to be fair, everything makes Eli angry. 
but that especially does. Watching PK is slightly less interesting than watching grass grow. Bro, come on. It's not that bad. It's a good meme, but come on. <clears throat> All right, the hero wall is not as impressive as you would like it to be. Only one copy of Sunrise. Well, good to know, Brawl. You know, you and uh, you and all of us uh, know for future reference. Thank you for the update. Elemental Hero Neos Knight able to beat over Nambiri. I'll be your partner if you want me to, partner. Don't you be calling me partner, cowboy. Neos Fusion! Thank you very much, Nambiri. That means a lot to me. Going into a copy of Elemental Hero Brave Neos, dumping another copy of Liquid. We have Liquid for days. I actually do really like these different hero variants. They are really interesting. Like the Hero Alliance interaction where you're dumping uh, Lazuli or Gem Knight Lazuli or whatever to, um, to grab the Neos back so that you can summon it and trigger your skill, I think is just, it's a great way to make that skill even better. And then this here, the, the favorite hero has the advantage of, excuse me? Okay, well... Super polymerization. Your board is gone. Fusing both of them into Elemental Hero the Shining. A lot of hero lists have been giving up Super Poly just to be able to use um, the uh, reinforcements of the army. But not Hans, or if he is, he is side-decking it. Regardless, it is proving quite useful in the mirror match. Into another copy of Elemental Hero, the Shining Draw 2. Discard 1, met by Bottomless Trap Hole. Goodbye. To the Banish Zone you go. Stratos going to force out that last back row. It is another bottomless. The Stratos will go, but it don't matter because the remaining heroes on board are enough to secure lethal damage. And 
Hans will win game number two. All right, our options are Rose Dragon Mirror Match, Rose versus Mayo Senju, or PK versus Hero. Which one would you guys like? <laughs> Hans, if you had Rhoda, would you be using it over Super Polly? Looks like my boy Deathroy is getting overruled here. <laughs> Everyone wants to go to sleep. Yes. It's been a long day. You know. Watching all these mirror matches of Metadex. Why don't we help you guys, like, you know, relax, ease back, <laughs> sleep, I just started work, oh no, we're gonna put Nambiri to sleep, they're gonna catch him sleeping on the job, I'm sorry my friend, when they fire you, just, just realize we didn't mean it, it was just a joke, it was just a prank, bro. Uh, well, it's going to be just a moment for this match to go live. Ah, there we go. All right, guys, everybody, please get your blankies, get your pillows. Get nice and comfy. So, why don't we start up a bit of a discussion while we wait for this to get ready. In the leaks, the quote-unquote leaks, we know that we're getting 14 skills, no names or descriptions. <clears throat> so let me ask you, there is some suggestions in the comment section that it could it's probably paradox and then event skills for Jaden, Yusei and Yugi. If they are event skills for Jaden, Yusei and uh uh, uh Yugi, what do you think what what skill 
related to combating paradox do you think they would give them because it's probably the same skill for all of them i would think I don't think it's New World, because it's like just the right amount for character plus event skill. Get comfy. We lounging back, boys. Heroes will lead things off. They're going to... looks like full combo. Uh, Elmaz, yes, this is top four. Let me go ahead and correct that. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think I've actually ever finished Bonds Beyond Time. Did they do something specific to defeat Paradox that would involve, that could be replicated in a skill? I think I've seen exactly like half the movie. I mean, yes, of course, it's the power of <laughs> just MS, <laughs> just MST on the field spell and Malefics blow up. Okay, King, what can you do against this board, my friend? We apparently can set some back row. Nice. I only ever watched the abridged version. <laughs> oh no. What's a synchro summon? A what? A synchro summon. Into our third copy of Sunrise, we are fully committed to praising the sun. Someone call the police. I'm feeling threatened by that aggression from PK. True. Mm-hmm. And another set. Nice. <sighs> Excuse me, cat?
Okay. What did I miss while I was harassing my cat? Why are we activating Chalice? This has to be a misclick, right? Well, we milled seven. Ah! Okay, I see, yes. He was attempting to stop the resurrection of the Canadia. I can see it. Had it worked out, he did have lethal. In the end phase, I believe. Yes, we will be resummoning some PKs to the board. We are going to be hoping to. Mm. Chain explanation. Okay, guys, so here's how chain links work. You're going to want to know about this. Kind of important. All right, show us Book of Moon. Show us second Book of Moon. Show us elemental hero Escuriado. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe we have a play here now. Unfortunately, for PK in this situation, he needed to mill just a little bit differently. Okay, so we attack, we force out the back row, and eats it up regardless. No, so we we use use the effect there, keep it alive, attack, kill. We can bring one back, kill. Yeah, there's like lethal no matter what.
Oh, I did not think about that. That is a good point. But that still leaves him with like nothing. If he draws exactly... Oh. I was gonna say, like, if he drew exactly a monster, then dumped a revived trap if he still had one, although I don't think he did, then he would have a chance. Do we have any updates on the other matches? Not yet. That PK tried to be aggressive, but it didn't matter because Hans was not letting it go. Okay, game number two. Both players ready to go. Let's do this. Can King bring it back? He is the favored child of the Phantom Knight generation, but looks like Heroes is going to have a chance to set up their powerful turn one board once again. If anything, you might say that PKs were entirely too aggressive. They needed to kind of bring things down just a little bit. Get level-headed, think things through. You can't just rush in like that all the time. Any hand where you see Ferris is a pretty good hand. Likely going to bring out the second copy of Vion. Vion probably going to dump a liquid. This card right here is almost... Don't get me wrong. Sunrise is obviously a fantastic card. But this right here, this boy right here, is almost assuredly the main reason heroes are... Oh! Okay. Why did we not want to fuse? Uh, so we could have made one sunrise, but that's it. Because we don't have different attributes. 
Because it's dark, dark, sorry, dark water, dark, dark. So we know one of these is going to be a bluff fusion. Um, that is a good point, JG. If they already had a copy of... Never mind, I'm dumb. I made a mistake. I was thinking already having access to um, Miracle Fusion. If anything, I'm actually surprised that King's running Lance at all. It's kind of an unusual tech for, for Phantom Knights. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's probably a correct choice, but... The aggressive set of three back row. <laughs> Normal summoning increase. My guy, come on, bro. And just think, had we summoned in attack mode, we'd literally be walling them off. <laughs> Phantom Knight Sword keeping the boy alive. Oh my Jesus. Come on, one more. One more. One more. Give it to me. Ah, there we go. Still two back row to deal with. One of we we know one of these is a bluff. So only one of these back row is actually an issue. In attack mode, does not care. Oh my Jesus, we're going for the javelin. Oh no, oh my god, hello. God, that is such a cool dragon. I love Dark Rebellion so much. What an absolute giga chad. Oh, but we don't have lethal, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. I take it back. 4,000 damage exactly. Lethal with Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon boosted twice. Once by uh, Ragged Gloves. Once, tw rather, twice, rather. Second boost by Phantom Knight's Wing. And, uh, that's about as uh, aggressive as you could hope for, I think, from Phantom Knights. My boy went in. Getting those farm gems. True. Do, 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 do. Back in top eight, it looks like Mugiwara on Rose Dragons defeated Chris Oliver 2-1, advancing to the top four. 
which means it will be a whoever wins between Levi and Shellmix will be it'll be another Rose Dragon mirror. So we are guaranteed to have Rose Dragon in the finals. For the third game in a row, Duel. Heroes going first. Vion send. Oh my god. Is this is is the prophecy real? Hello? Do we have do we have a play here? Oh, we're not even gonna give the boy a chance. Show us Lance. Show us Lance. Show us Lance. Let's go! I mean Unfortunately it appears for Hans that King had access to Forbidden Lance. Forbidden Lance will allow him to keep the uh ragged gloves on the field for his uh silent boots to uh come out now he will have access to a rank two three or four exes of his choice um in this situation he likely doesn't have lethal um actually he could in theory have lethal no coaching however we're not going to say anything but there is in fact a way that he could have lethal here if he so chose King, however, is a top-tier Phantom Knight player, and I have no doubt that he will be able to navigate his way to victory if he so chooses. That does not appear to be the way to do it. But why, though? Um, so the only thing I can imagine is that he's feeling some kind of delay because it really feels like there was a, a way to lethal there. Realistically speaking, could we not have gone in? Okay, uh, barring a hand trap delay, if we go into... Oh, he felt the delay. There we go. That's what he was feeling. Barring a hand trap, you would have popped. You would have gone into break sword, um, popped, revived, gone into any other one, attack, bring, uh, dump or, or dump the trap rather, with the um ragged gloves but he felt the delay so ooh wound, wounded hero nothing that there was to be done about this unfortunately YCS Prue champ asking are you playing master duel I play a very little bit um I primarily enjoy the format of duel links I'm not a big fan of what the meta in Master Duel is right now. I find it to be quite possibly one of the... A representation of the worst meta that Yu-Gi-Oh! has ever had. But I know it will maybe get better. And so I'll probably play more then. I played a lot more Master Duel like two to three months ago. I felt that meta was more interesting. Um, sword, when Sword Soul just came out, when you could still play, like, um, um, Transmigration Prophecy, nice. Uh, when you could play stuff like, um, uh, Tri Brigade still. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of this current meta. Uh, 
Uh, you are correct, Alfred. You are also correct, Zade King. So, I am just a Papega. In a, I'm just a Papega in a Papega world. Forced to go into a copy of The Shining. And we have nothing else. Oh my goodness. We might just have an OTK here, my friends. And just like that, Hans will scoop it up, conceding that King did in fact have the game. A well-fought duel to both of them. Okay, looks like Shelmy defeated Levi and is now ready for that top four matchup it will be pk versus rose dragon Okay, they are right in it. I appreciate the promptness. Shell me at the top. Mugiwara at the bottom. And may the best Akiza OnlyFans subscriber win. Is there a way to detoss the dual room? Just asking out of curiosity. <laughs> Come on, Death Roy. And as is relatively crucial in the mirror match, Samurai Destroyer is our initial summon. With only one set, though, that is not good. We we can almost assuredly assume that it is a Basil Rose. What can we do here? In theory, we can go for a Ruddy Rose play. Although, doesn't necessarily get us where we want to be. Mm-hmm. That does appear to be what we are going for. Synchro summon into the Black Rose Dragon. Basil Rose still in the hand. Can <laughs> scrap Archfiend. Basil Rose to bring back the Rocks Rose. No search as we have already done so this turn. However, 
Uh, Elmaz, yes. It was a 2-1 loss for uh, the Mayo Senju player. Bringing back the Rocks Rose before the Banishment, rather. Adding a Blue Rose for follow-up on the next turn. Let's get Banishing, Ruddy Rose. Wipe it all. Of course, the Samurai Destroyer will return to the field. We set one. We set two, and two it shall be. Now, Mugiwara will have three cards in hand. We know he does seem to be a little monster clogged. <clears throat> Why are PKs not on the tier list? Uh, tier list is subjective. Why are BA and DDD still on there? There's always going to be a bit of subjectivity to it. You can't look at it as 100% like this is the way they are. You should look at different sources in general and then draw your own conclusions. Like, do I personally think PK are probably, like, in our definition of the tier list, I would put them tier 3. You can almost assuredly expect to run into a couple dedicated PK players in whatever tournament you're in. It is something you need to be thinking about. It shouldn't be like the only thing you're planning for. You're planning for the Red Rose matchup, the Hero matchup, the Mech Lord matchup as your primary matchups. And then lower down, you're worrying about stuff like PK. Ooh, is Shelmy on the... Shelmy appears to be on the uh, uh, Yang Zing version of it. Maybe. We'll see. We are indeed. Forcing out the Compulse, sending the Ruddy back to the extra deck. Bring back the Rocks Rose for a... Level 8 Synchro Play. This should be Boxia if we're on the pure... Or not pure, but the Yang Zing line. It is, in fact, Baxia. Baxia, get bouncing. Only one bounce here. Not hypercritical. I'm sorry, not bouncing, but spinning, rather. Okay. Sorry about that. Answering something. We activated sending blue rose at rocks rose normal into a floodgate. We can just bring back the blue rose and have access to or nope, the white rose, excuse me. 
and have access to a synchro play, but we will be met by another flip down. Nothing to be done here. Clearly still monster clogged. Summoning the blue rose, hopping it with the boxia to revive the rocks rose, adding a basil to hand. We have access to another synchro play if we want, but it appears instead we're just going to be aggressive. Mm, was that the correct attack? You probably should have attacked the White Rose first. What is the play? And why are we what facing, Danny? <laughs> Look, man, this is the match we got to watch. The We're in top four. The finalist is waiting in the finals. This is what we have, my friend. I'm sorry. Are we out of basil roses? There's one, two, three. We are, in fact, out of basil roses. Oh, no. Uh, IK, I don't see why they would touch BA again. They're not doing anything anymore. Like, I would say there's literally a 0% chance they touch uh, Burning Abyss. Like, literally 0%. If they touched Burning Abyss, I would, like, delete my account. And to clarify, I mean nerf them. I could see them un unnerfing them slightly. I am more excited for the mini box than the ban list before Vrains. Um, uh, I mean, I'm kind of excited for both. Anytime anything is introduced to shake things up, I think it is exciting. And both of those things will do that. Uh, it will be a mini box, Mamad. Mini box this month, main box for the new world. Probably KC Cup, Hugh, if I had to guess. Because here's the thing. Worlds is like on the 26th. There's like no shot that they uh, introduce a ban list that would go into effect. What they will do is, oh, actually now let me, let me think about that again. So worlds is going to be the 26th. Then KC cup is at the end of the month, but that's the beginning. KC cup lasts approximately 10 days. So that's going to be like September 10th. 
Well, yeah, but stage one, uh, stage one, Hugh. It starts on, like, the 31st. Um. There will absolutely be a ban list before the new world. There, I'm just, like, it, there has to be. They usually want it to go into effect. Yeah. I think we don't see the announcement of a ban list until, like, halfway through the month. It'll. They might put out, like, a ban list uh, one, one week after KC Cup that will go into effect, like, right around world launch. If I had... That's kind of where my gut's telling me. Looks like Shell Me won game number one. That is a good question. We can actually look that up. Articles, ban list. Bum 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 bum. Ah, it was too far. Uh, so we are looking for 2021. So, hello kitty. What? So there was a article September 27th, TPC analyst on the ban list impact. Why can't I, where's the article for the ban list? So yeah, there was, there was a ban list right before the new world. But after Worlds, um, no, I don't believe, well, where was the, where was the ban list? What's, when was the last ban list other than that one? The ban list before was, so in 2021, we had a ban list on March 1st. And the next one was in September, I think. Uh oh. Oh no! My deck! 
My kitty threw my deck off my desk. Anyways, I'm not playing with the kitty. Uh, this was not a great opener for Mugiwara, although we are just straight nuking the board. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, excuse me. I literally just missed this entire match by playing with my cat. I am so sorry. Uh, Shell me just absolutely dominating due to the fact that Mugiwara just unbelievably bricked. Holy Jesus. Well, okay then. Um, thank you for keeping it very quick, Shell me. And Mamad, yes, of course, the new box is always going to suck. But. It doesn't. It, it is also possible. Okay. Counterpoint. When we got um, Arc V World, if I'm not mistaken, um, the. Uh, Melodious were were top tier right off the bat, right? I I am remembering that correctly, right? Like M Melodious were literally from the right away, right out the gate, they were a good deck. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm misremembering. So it is entirely possible that some of the Vrain's era starter characters decks, because think about it, th any one of those starter characters is an archetype that will be unbelievably difficult for them to make them truly bad. Like, not impossible, obviously, but you, you got like Trickstar, you got Cybers of some kind, that'll be easy to make terrible. Goki, you can probably make bad, but... We've already got a bunch of the good Goki. Once you start giving Goki their their Link monsters, I'm sure they, they can be able to do something. Um, Trickstar, Goki, like, uh, who else will be a starter character? Um, would they do the, the Soul Burner as a starter character or whatever? Yeah, the Salaman great guy. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, they can make them bad, but at the same time, it's also incredibly easy for them to accidentally, like, cyber angel us and give us, like, a good free-to-play deck. Paradox in chat calling out Malefics as best deck. <laughs> okay. I feel like you might be a little biased, my friend. So what do we think? Uh, summoning animation for Decode Talker but he will initially be tied to a skill only, and you can't actually get him. He'll be like Stardust Dragon, where he won't be available until like three boxes in.
I mean, here's the thing. Decode Talker is actually okay. I mean, he's not fantastic, but as far as, like, Link 3s go, he's okay. He'd probably be pretty good in Duel Links. Goki is the one I think has the highest chance of being, like, secretly good to begin with. Yo, give us Goki rematch. Let's go. Okay, both players are in the room. We got King versus Shelmy. PK versus Rose Dragon. Let us begin. We got a prediction, boys. Who will win? King on PK. Shell me on Rose. Let's go. Not the greatest start for Phantom Knight. However, we do we do know, or rather, he is able to stop the um, synchro play. Excuse me, brain fart there. Bum 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 bum. We are able to go into a copy of Phantom Knight of Breaksword, met by a floodgate. Do we have? The lance in hand. Yo, we do. Bringing back the Kanadia in addition. Okay. Does stop himself from being permanently floodgated. But we are now... A little resource starved versus the Rose Dragon player. I cannot believe it. We're going to need a pretty high impact back row to... Going into a copy of Yang Zing. Or Yazi, rather. Evil of the Yang Zing. Gonna attempt to pop, force out that back row. What is it? It is, in fact, a Phantom Knight Wings. Yazi get floating. Oh, my goodness. This is about to be absolutely devastating. I think King is just going to get... So we go into Baxia, spin, and uh, I think... Well, do we have lethal? We could have... No. 
Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The uh, materials go into the graveyard. We we can stop any lethal push. Um, the one thing you guys do need to keep in mind is that Phantom Knight is actually still kind of popular amongst the Japanese players. So there's actually some topping Burning Abyss lists um, that have actually done well in tournaments recently. In fact, I think Galaxy Eyes and Burning Abyss are actually relatively close to each other in the number of tops. In just in the last two weeks. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six galaxy eyes tops. And Burning Abyss has four in the last two weeks. So if you're going to tier galaxy eyes, you almost have to tier uh, Burning Abyss as well. I think people are just being blinded by the fact that we're not seeing as much um, Burning Abyss anymore. Because I believe, let's see, um, the Sora Tune Weekly, that's a Japanese event. Uh, looks like two AUs, that's not Japanese. Calvos Cup, isn't that one? That one's going to be... Um, is Calvos Cup like... Latin America or something. Is it possible to have a different tier list for different regions? No. Because you can... F I mean... You should not do something like that. And this is just... Insult to injury. Banishing the graveyards. To, well, not even. It's, it's just to deny resources. Wait, why? But why, though? There was no reason to nuke the board. Literally, if we top deck a monster, oh. Top, top deck prank kid one time. So, so my response to that boot kick is that what you should do is don't take the tier list as gospel you look at the tier list and go hmm I'm not seeing a lot of those decks let me go take a look at you know what what events are these happening in and if you notice like a lot of them tend to be Japanese events or events you don't play in you go I'm not gonna prepare for that I don't think it matters In my opinion, in this meta, you prepare for exactly Rose Dragon, Mech Lord, Hero, the different variations of Hero, Phantom Knight, Galaxy Knight, and that's about it. Or Galaxy Knight, Galaxy Photon. And then, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to understand how the other decks operate, but... Just, even if you want, just prepare for, like, <laughs> heroes, rose, and you could prepare for just hero and rose, and you're probably okay. I 
I'm just not sure how you do that though, boot kick. Because like I would not prefer I would not prepare specifically for mech lords. I don't feel they need to be. I think mech lords can be answered by basically everything your deck is already gonna include. What do you mean side Stygian? You're main decking that, Hans. Game one to show me. Like, don't get me wrong. I like Mechlord a lot. It's a fun deck. And I think it is good. <clears throat> but it has some in inherent flaws. That are relatively easy to out. Or not easy to out, but... As long... It basically comes down to... Do you have the cards to stop them most of the time? Alrighty, <clears throat> are we back to the table? We are game number two. This is game point for Shell Me if they can pull it off. King will have the opportunity to set up first. We will go into the Dante, trying to get some much-needed resources into the graveyard. Milling pretty poorly, but at the very least, Boots will be able to grab us a copy of the Wings. Set one, set two, your go. We see the ideal send rocks rose for white rose, normal white rose, bring back rocks rose, generating those additional resources in hand. We now have the opportunity to, in theory, wipe the field. However, Stygian Dirge, did we draw an MST? We did not. Because otherwise we would have just... Oh, nope, never mind, we did. Why'd we let him bring back the Kanadia then? Yazi! Going to be able to pop. We're going to force out that back row. We already know what it is, so it kind of doesn't matter. Hello, Necrofear. Welcome. Um. Yeah, this is looking like it's, uh. This is probably Shelmy's game. 
summoning the Tauti, bringing back the Rocks Rose. Able to go into a Baxia. Baxia is going to be able to bounce the Dante. This this list has been doing exceptionally well for Shelmy. Drew one drew an MST out of twenty seven cards, by the way. Oh my goodness. Excuse me? Went into a Cyber Slash Harpy? Excuse me? What? Interesting. Well, we do have the Javelin. Javelin is going to be able to both win this trade as well as Chain Block. Lance will ensure that we do not go face down. We can attempt to chain and respond. Do we have another back row to do anything? Book of Moon. And at this point, we will have to activate the chain block. It's just unusual, Trooper. We do have lethal if we can summon a Rocks Rose. And that's going to be it, boys. We're going to be able to wrap it up just like that. White Rose, bring back the Rocks Rose. Rocks Rose, get searching. Go into whatever you want. Then Basil Rose, bring back whatever. doesn't matter. And just bounce it. I don't know if it's just for the last cutscene of the tournament. But Black Rose Dragon hits the field. Hmm. <clears throat> Activating Basil Rose, Cyber Slash, get Bouncing, returning that to the extra deck. Attack, attack, and lethal. King dealt with in the most efficient manner I have seen in quite a while. Shelmy absolutely controlled that match from beginning to end with some particularly fascinating text that you will probably see more and more of from the Red Rose players until they get obliterated in the future ban list. But regardless, that was well played to both of the duelists. Choose outcome, shell me on Rose. Sorry to our PK believers. They will be on the website in just a bit, but I'm going to take an opportunity to go ahead and explore these lists just a little bit. Because I actually think Shelmy's is a little unusual.
so it's always fun when you see innovation in a otherwise um, already like solved format, so to speak. Absolutely, I I absolutely adore watching King. He is a he is an amazing player. So even though he lost, that boy made it here, and that's what counts in my book. All right, here you go. This is the winning deck list of Shelmy. As you guys are you guys are correct, the Cyber Slash is a side decked card. I'll bring that up in just a moment. 27 cards and running three copies of the Rose Witch. Only two copies of the MST, but favoring just absolutely jam packing the extra, the back row with your flip downs. One copy of Tauti. Two Yazi, one Baxia. I think in th in theory, can it help with synchro plays in any way? No, because so. No. I mean, it helps you go into a Boxia without Yazi, I guess. And then, ya boy, King. Looking pretty standard for his list. Double dice it. Uh, double um, breakthrough skill. A little light on the back row flip, but has done him served him well otherwise. Um, kind of feels like you have to get pretty lucky. Oh well. Were there any others worth looking at right now? Ooh. Nah, they'll be up on the website. Okay, thank you so much, my friends. I appreciate y'all who came out and stopped by. Um, to answer your question, Elmaz, I believe you were asking. Um, I'll, we'll figure something out. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, because as I said, I'm, I do have a lunch date that I need to attend. But if not tomorrow, we'll do something on a Friday. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for stopping by. Appreciate and adore you all. You're great people. Um, Meta Weekly on Monday. Meta Freakly on next Wednesday again. Probably Friday for the next stream. Uh, some kind of chill stream. And yeah. Congratulations to Shelmy. Really like your deck list. Congratulations to King, who came back from the brink on the bubble to make it to the finals. I will contact you both on Discord for your prizing. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send you guys over to... Uh, Quantum, because I adore Quantum. Uh, be sure to give him some love. He he puts in work for the community as well. So even if you just have him in on the background, if you uh, don't want to actually interact, uh, go support my boy. Thank you.